Well, have you ever made friends with someone that you never really thought you'd be close to, or maybe you never even thought you would like them? Well, that's exactly what happened for two Twin Cities men. This morning, we're going to meet two friends and learn why they had every reason not to get along. Yeah, I was in a cell over here. Two friends taking a walk after coming down a very unlikely path. I didn't know this part was over here when I was a resident here. <laughs> it's a journey that started 33 years ago. Micah was adopted from Korea by a Minnesota family, but he felt like he didn't fit. Drugs and a life of crime led him here to the Hennepin County Adult Correction Center. I think when I was sitting in there on B block, listening to all the noise, I didn't know if my life would be different. After leading a police chase, his car looked like this and his future looked grim. Years of incarceration and addiction. Last time that I went in there where I was defeated, I was like 130 pounds. My face was sunk in. I had picked it apart because of the meth. Looking at him that day, I knew he was off and things were terribly wrong with him. Levi was Micah's parole officer. But it all started with Levi pushing me to see that I could do something different. After years of tense back and forth, Levi got through and Micah got sober in Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge. What was it you saw in him? He kept showing up for me. It's like he cared before I cared about myself. He gave me chances that I didn't believe I was worthy of. And five years later, they got the chance to walk back in to prison together. Micah took the stage. How y'all doing today? Good, my name's Micah, um, Micah Moline. And Levi took a seat. And then I eventually tried the drug that would become my drug of choice. That was methamphetamines. Meth caused me to go crazy. It caused me to make decisions. It caused me to do things that I never would have done. 17, I found out my daughter's, well, my girlfriend at the time, I found out she was pregnant. Now I'm gonna be a dad. He talked of his trials. I'll pass this picture around, but that car, I tried to take my life. And his triumph of sobriety. As of June 26, I celebrated five years. Thank you. And who it was that got him to the other side. I had to meet with my parole officer. He's standing right, or sitting right over there. I remember when I met with him, he said, man, Something's going on, but I want to give you a chance. His audience was captive, his message received. So to give back and come and tell story, you know, tell my story like he just did, you know, um, it's phenomenal, you know, I, I, I felt everything that he said. What's really stuck out to me in his sermon was the fact that anybody can change if they get the determination to will. How he got through all those barriers and made it to where he's at today, you know, it was kind of inspiring for me. For me, it was a relationship with the, with the parole officer. I think that, that was inspiring because usually in this, li in this life, like POs and criminals don't like to build a relationship, but they did, and that, that really inspired me. As Levi watched, Micah inspired. Yep, thank you guys. <laughs> Walking out of the workhouse again. How proud are you? I'm extremely proud of this guy. It's a bond no court could have ever predicted. I can't thank him enough. Well, another sweet addition to this story. After 11 years, Micah was recently reunited with his daughter. Look at this picture of them right there. No one was prouder than Levi. He's a father too. And he says this was always the goal, was to see Micah reunited with his daughter. A beautiful reunion.